Okay. Uh, so let let me introduce myself for the beginning. Uh, my name is Roman. I work as a product analyst in a company called Bini Game. We work with mobile game application for preschool children. I'm on this position for almost three years, and if I can help you with my experience, uh, I will be glad to, to do it with some advices and so on. Okay, okay, great. Uh, yeah, so thank you very much for your time and for this meeting. I don't want to take much of your time, so I, I'll be short. I have reviewed all the information that you sent me, like all mm -hmm. the videos and everything is very useful. So when I, what I want basically is to know from your experience, because mm -hmm. I read that you are a civil engineer and so mm -hmm. do I. And yeah. so it's very interesting for me because I'm trying to do the, the career change mm -hmm. to that mm -hmm. analyst. That's my degree civil engineer but mm -hmm. i want to do like you do or like you did uh, like you did it already right mm -hmm. so yeah that's my goal like to hear from you how is your experience especially uh, when you started because i'm starting right now like mm -hmm. as a data analyst i'm working as a freelancer but i'm trying to find a stable job in that area mm -hmm. so what uh, advices can you give me and how was your experience like when you were started and yeah, it's basically that. Mm -hmm. So uh, I wanted to mention that uh, after I finish my civil engineer and after my civil engineer experience, I have seven years working in media communication. So after the university, mm -hmm. after a little bit of experience as a civil engineer, I work in media communication, not uh, connection connect to civil engineer work. Yeah. So it was like. Uh, more than 10 years ago was the last time when I okay. work with in engineering and, and connecting to this. Yeah, yeah well, but, mm -hmm. yeah, me too, me too. I, I, I did my degree abroad and then mm -hmm. I started working in international environment. So I mm -hmm. like really I just worked for two years as a civil mm -hmm. engineer, two or three years. Yeah, but still I don't have much experience as that analyst. So it's like a mm -hmm. little bit of a change for me. Yeah, so uh, like three years, I three years ago, uh, I decided to quit my job, and uh, then I decided that it has to be something connecting to tax sphere. And as I like uh, numbers, uh, graph, and and stuff like this, yeah, I thought that it could be data analytics. So uh, uh, it 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 will be easier for me to 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 switch to to transition to to that profession. So uh, firstly, what I done, I provide some little uh, like research uh, about uh, jobs, about uh, requirements, what what uh, company wanted to find in candidates, and so on. So like it's it was not not so big research. It was like a, an hour or so. So I write down for myself the main disciplines that I should know. For example, like SQL, it is obvious. Then some BI systems like Power BI, Tableau. Of course, it have to be Excel or in Google Sheet. But in case that you uh, civil engineer, I thought yeah, uh, I that it was a lot of uh, Excel or Google Sheet works uh, in it. So in, in my case, it was the same. Yeah. Also, what was new for me, it is uh, statistics, because uh, in my civil engineer, uh, experience education uh, it was not so much statistics it was some like uh, calculus and so also math but not uh, connecting to statistics yeah so it was uh, quite new for me all, all the stuff all these definitions and so on also uh, i learned a little bit about uh, product metrics at that time i didn't know that i go to product analytics to, to product companies that i work with apps and so on but still uh, a lot of company write down it as uh, job requirements uh, for, for it uh, is uh, also python uh, is among the requirements and i learn it a lot uh, but to be honest, I, I even finished a big course in Python. But uh, to be honest, I for now I don't. I'm not. Don't advise uh, to learn Python because it is like uh, for for junior not 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 the discipline for junior level. 
it uh, will be useful more with uh, with your seniority level when your seniority level grow but uh, at the start it not not, not so uh, valuable in my view uh, but uh, comparing for example with the SQA and so on and then uh, when I of course uh, it is English language because it uh, doesn't matter where you work uh, almost everywhere you have to know English to to have uh, uh, like uh, ability to learn from different resources like Coursera, Udemy and so on. And then uh, after this I uh, learn these resources and after some theory when I know how, how what, what tool work, how the, uh, the tool works, I try to do it in practice. I try to provide some little projects uh, and so on. And uh, after a month of this uh, education uh, like so, how it was? It was like kind of job, but uh, anyone pays me, paid me for it. So I yeah. learn from nine a.m. to six p.m. Uh, like try to uh, provide, try to set some schedule from with different disciplines. So not not that I learn like SQL or uh, Power BI all day. So I try to combine it. Uh, um, for for more for more for me who to have more interest in it. And then, uh, like after a month uh, of this education, I start to apply on jobs. Of course, it was uh, a lot of rejection. Almost it was silence uh, from recruiters' uh, side. Uh, then I tried to watch some videos about how you have to uh, write down your cover letter, how you can uh, upgrade your CV, what you have to uh, do to have more attention from the recruiters and after some mistakes uh, I try to like test in my approach to cover letter to, to, to CV and so on and after a couple of weeks I received some uh, invitation to interview of course for special of course first uh, it was easy for me on behavior interview uh, but uh, hard on technical interview. So when I talk with recruiter, it was easy. But when I talk with uh, someone from technical point, uh, it was awful for my first interview. Especially my weakest point was uh, statistics. Uh, it was not so good as I didn't learn it uh, earlier. Yeah, but uh, after every mistake, after every bad uh, technical yeah. interview, yeah, I write down my mistakes, I learn it uh, more, uh, I try to ask uh, for some feedback after rejection, so what uh, what I have to learn more in your, in your view and so on. And after this iteration, after iteration, after a successful technical interview, I had home task assignment, and it first my first home test assignment also was all, were awful, and uh, I had to learn from myself uh, what, what I done from feedback also what was not so good. And then after this iteration after iteration, I uh, count my rejection. I received uh, twenty two rejections okay. uh, during this uh, like two months period uh, when I start applying and when I received my offer. And, but uh, how many you applied? Like 20, 22? Like are the ones that you get an answer? Or to be honest, I general? didn't remember. I have these statistics, but I didn't remember for, for now. I, it was not so, it was not hundreds. I okay. guess it's something like 60, maybe 70 uh, okay. apl applications, yeah. But it, it was like three years ago in Ukraine, it was like a tech boom. So mm -hmm. there, are, there was not so uh, many candidates as many jobs. So it was like, for yeah. now, we called it like golden period of Ukrainian tech, tech sphere. Yeah, so I, I was l lucky to, 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 to think about it at that time. Yeah, and it was kind of lucky, but still I have to prepare for this luck. Yeah, so I have to learn all this stuff, uh, mm -hmm. learn from my mistakes and so on. But also in, in every situation, there are like uh, your hard work and your luck that, that can help you in balance, I guess. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, basically right now I'm just like almost every week I'm like updating my CV because I'm mm -hmm. continuously reading what mm -hmm. can I do better and everything like you told me that you did in the past and everything I'm working in my portfolio like it's very basic at the moment but I'm working in more projects to try to like make it like more appealing let's say like that 
And right now, the thing is that so many people is applying to these mm -hmm. jobs. Mm -hmm. Like when you apply it on LinkedIn, it's like 100 and plus, like hundreds of people mm -hmm. applying to, to just one job. So yeah, so I don't know what, it's just about patience, you think? Or maybe should I try other platforms? Mm. First of all, uh, Theo said that you're updating your CV. Uh, did you review your CV with some recruiters? Well, I did it in this uh, site, Job Leads, I think it's called, and they give me mm -hmm. like a general review. Not in mm -hmm. deep, but it was general. So I applied all the the tips that they gave gave me, and mm -hmm. they and I been like I, I have received sorry, like three. Not interview, but right now what they are doing is sending you a link. In this link, you answer some questions. They mm -hmm. do the question you ask for, like in video. Mm -hmm. And also, I presented two um, like technical tests. Mm -hmm. One mm -hmm. was about SQL, and mm -hmm. the other one was like very general about data analytics. And I haven't get an answer yet, but yeah, that's. I think uh, did, something worked uh, because after I did this mm -hmm. improving, I started receiving more answers. Mm -hmm. Cool. So I advise you not to stop on it. So uh, like review your CV with someone from time to time. So if there mm -hmm. will be a point when someone said, for example, oh, your CV, when some recruiter said, oh, your CV is wonderful, I can give you any advice, and then it's the, the science for, for you to stop. Yeah, and after this, like, uh, test, uh, home test assignment uh, in SQL, uh, it was, like, so automatic platform, or, uh, like, you done it and just send it as, a, like... Uh... No, it was all, like, live. Mm -hmm. They were, like, recording me mm -hmm. to, to prove that I was not cheating. And it's like this... Right now, there are many sites that are, they're mm -hmm. like doing that. Yeah, yeah? I know. Are, test Dome. I test test Gorilla. I presented in oh. one that is called Test Gorilla. Yeah. And I get 80% from 100. Oh. Because is I wanted to what? ask, I know that at the end uh, you received uh, the, the answer. Yeah. So, yeah. 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 yeah that, and the other one was data analytics, just like watch some, have to say, some graphs and do the mm -hmm. analytics. And there I get like the 100. Mm. So yeah, mm -hmm. that's what I mean. So also, also, my advice will be to try. Of course, it's uh, not always relevant, but try to uh, find among your connections. So, for example, yeah, you know some people. Try to find someone who work in uh, companies that for now in search for analytics, because in a lot of it's it can be like referral who could, who could, uh, can uh, advise you uh, or you give your CV to the recruiter like uh, direct. So I do, for example, in Ukraine with the uh, uh, people whom I know. So I, if I know that it is good candidates and uh, I see some job jobs from some company i like uh, uh, to, to, uh sent a cv from this person to to recruiter because it like i have some credibility and and so on so try to find among your connections among your friends maybe relatives and so on this connection so maybe they work in some company in your country that uh, already in in search for data analysts at least you received some feedback it never will be like silence if someone refers you so at least recruiter said to this person so oh this is uh, oh, she, she is not relevant for us because and that and you receive some feedback that uh, can help you to update your cv or update your some skills or update your projects and so on because i think for now as the competitions grow uh this like referrals uh, can help you to stand out among others so, of, of course it's not relevant for all companies and like your connection is not so wide uh, as as usual person but uh, still you can try to to do it to, to to use it okay yeah 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 i think it's a good tip yeah yeah okay yes mm -hmm. okay well, like I said before, I don't have much questions because like all the material that you sent me, like is very clear and very useful in terms of CV and also the questions for the interviews and everything. Yeah. Okay. 
case, so in case if you will have some question in in the future, you will reach to me on ADP list, and I will be glad also to talk to you uh, in future if you have any problems, any additional question, and so on. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much again, and yeah, definitely, <laughs> I will get back to you if I mm -hmm. something come up. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay. Have a nice thank day. you. Goodbye. Bye.